Hey guys, so today I am going to explain the alpha investment situation with the sorcery playmats. Something that I didn't think was a big deal, but later, you know, people were very upset. Was uh, they ordered, I think it cost $700 for this pre order, and they were supposed to get playmats as well, but the playmats got lost. So the sorcery game is still a brand new game. And the playmats were lost in customs or basically no one knew where they were. And Rudy had previously promised that they would get the playmats, right? But uh, he didn't want to delay the sales anymore. And so he decided to, he was going to announce that he was going to ship them out without playmats. And this upset some of the Rudy patrons. As Rudy mentioned in the video, 50 to 60 patrons had left actually going to go on the Alpha Investments Patreon page. And that is a substantial amount of patrons, right? Uh, for him, even for Rudy. Um, it still said sold out, sold out, um, limited to. So maybe limited spaces sold out, limited spaces sold out at the legendary for $100 a month. Uh, essentially, this was a interesting thing i'm looking at it right now there's 258 likes and 222 222 comments that is for the sorcery playmat resolution the sorcery company is going to reprint the thousand playmats and send them out later that's what the resolution was and then there was the 1000 missing sorcery playmats are missing so I guess um, it didn't kind of make sense why Rudy just didn't force Sorcery to replace them anyway because it was their shipping. It was their fact that they it was their playmats, essentially. So if they couldn't deliver them, they should have delivered a similar product. And this created a, a... A few people were angry. The large majority of people understood it was just a playmat. But then Rudy went on to make his bankruptcy where you can clearly see from the heavy bags of the boxes no longer worth any money. Um, the Magic the Gathering is in total collapse as is Pokemon. So don't, don't think Pokemon is not in collapse right now. It is from all the reprinting. The Scarlet and Violet sets, the newest one he's trying to sell, is actually probably one of the least hyped sets I can remember in some time. Um, this reminds, this is actually much worse than pre-COVID uh, in terms of hype of the set uh, and interest in investing or any of them. It's, it's, there, it's way down, and I don't think it will pick itself back up anytime soon. So Rudy, um, interestingly, made a bankruptcy video, and essentially he was talking about attention and how all attention is good. That's true to a point. Uh, that is true to a point, but eventually if the attention gets some patrons to leave, then that's actually not good, right? You want to, your patrons pay to keep the lights on, they pay for all this stuff, and uh, Rudy's pretty much admitted that without his patrons, he wouldn't be doing YouTube. So obviously they pay, they play a very important part in supporting the Rudy ecosystem. And I've uh, been, you know, I've been, um, I've been uh, on the record saying that a lot of the stuff kind of doesn't, like for me, it doesn't really make all that much sense what's going on with Rudy um, with the perpetual all oh, buy low, buy low, and then, you know, when it will recover. But the problem is with the current management Wizard of the Coast, are you really gambling that it's going to recover on the current management when they literally reprint everything? So I, I think this is where I and him differ. You can take a break from buying, guys. You don't have to constantly buy Magic cards 24-7. You can say, you know what? Right now is a bad time. I have a lot of Magic cards. Let me stop buying from Rudy for a month or two months and see where it is after the holidays are over. This constant selling and selling and selling, you know. I mean, he probably knows that this is one of the worst Pokemon sets as of right now. And it's kind of jarring when he's like saying Chilling Rain is really good when Chilling Rain's on sale on David Adams right now. Everything's still under MSRP. Uh, the recent sets, my name's Evolving Skies. Um, it's a very strange kind of situation that where he has to pretend things are okay when they're not. 
because he had to sell you the product. Right? There was that crazy video where he is buying from one of his patrons for, you can only understand, like maybe 10, 20, 30%. You know the number is low when both parties agree, or maybe Rudy had the other party agree not to actually tell you what you bought. That is the opposite of a buy list, and I think that's very untransparent when no one actually knows what Rudy paid for something when the whole channel is about finance. That is crazy to me. That's not a buy list. And again, he's not doing a buy list, right? He's basically seeing how desperate you are, and then based on how desperate you are to help your mom, He'll give you a price. And that's never a place. When when people don't publicly post a buy list online, you know they're privately just scamming the crap out of you because that's how it is. Oh, you're desperate. Okay. How desperate are you? Oh, okay. You're very desperate. Okay, let me pay you even less money than uh, any of Card Kingdom's buy list, which is in the shambles right now, which we'll talk about a little later. They unionized and now no one's getting paid out on time. So... Yeah, there are plenty of really crazy things happening. And I think one of the most crazy things is Rudy Chan is uh, towards the end of the video, he kind of breaks it down. I mean, he cannot be having fun uh, in this current. Um, he cannot be having fun in this current environment, right? Um, I believe that no one, no investor is having a good time losing uh, all this money, and I believe that in uh, in terms of what is happening, and in terms of like what will happen, there's no guarantee magic is not going to zero. There's always a risk, even in the best times. Right now, my 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 concern is quite simple: is the management, which will not be easy to replace. And Rudy was like, "Oh, I can buy off the billion dollar Hasbro company if everyone just buys." This declining stock with me as the stock plummets into oblivion. You know, the stock is sub 50 right now. What is the stock right now? As of the recording of the video, of course, stocks change every day. It is $45. Okay, I dropped another 2.36%. Good to know. I mean, guys, let, let's be honest. Like, this is not something that you want to be like putting. You, people say, oh, it's cheap. You know, the whole idea of buying at the low. Well, how do you know it's a low? How do you know this is a low? Like things can always get lower, and that's kind of the hilarious thing from Rudy Lights. They just don't realize this because um, they don't have much um, life experience, I guess. Anyway, go blank yourself, Timmy's, because you are getting blanked by the Rudy right now, harder than he's ever blanked you before because he need that cheddar.